I'll do the greet in like 10 seconds here, or maybe 15, however long the Budweiser ad goes for. <coughs> <laughs> it's all about the Budweiser ads. <laughs> I don't know why they keep targeting me with Budweiser. It's like, I'm never, They're like, Ray, uh, there's yeah. one thing you love, Budweiser. <laughs> I've never expressed interest for Budweiser even once in my life, you know? <laughs> All right. Uh, hello, Streambirds. Welcome to the stream. This is stream number two of 2018, and we're all <laughs> feeling good. How's everybody doing today? I mean, I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah. Although I'm feeling a little sad because last time we played, I lost my... Your, uh, your hip plane? No, my le oh, well, my level twenty uh, plane, which I've had for like a long time, and I actually like skilled that one up. I didn't uh, cheat my way to that one, so I felt pretty good about it, and I lost it. Oh no! And now I'm sad. <laughs> well, so sad. good news is I was gonna suggest we do uh, a regular climb again starting today. Yay! Yay! So we can be we can be friends. <laughs> Sweet, are we are we live? Oh, we are. Yes, uh, yeah. I already oh, did. The, I already did the greeting and everything. Dang, we're so on it. Oh, whoops. Let's so, talk. what what is new today? Other than it being a beautiful day. Is it a beautiful day where you are? It's kind of cloudy. It, it's gray and cloudy, but um, the crows are back, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> there you go. I, I've been I've been feeding. Uh, there was these young crows. They were super, you know, like the adolescent crows, mm -hmm. and uh, they were really angry at me um, for most of the summer. And so I started like feeding them little tidbits of food, um, and now they're my best friends. Like. Huh. Uh, I walk along the path, um, and they they'll like kind of like hop along behind me in the trees. And there's a specific Aww. tree where I feed them, and like like two of them, two of them will hang out in the tree and just wait for me. And then I feed them a little something, and then out of nowhere, like five of them just appear and like start running for the food. It's pretty pretty amazing. <laughs> that sounds delightful. This is yeah, like when you. Oh, go ahead. With, when are you when are you gonna teach them to fly planes and shoot down cats? <laughs> That's the next step. Okay. Well, we gotta get the cats flying too. That's true. Let's I think only young up. cats fly. They've, they've got the energy. The cats <laughs> kind of just <laughs> sit there. I love this new reload bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's great. Makes all the difference in the world. I forgot how much I missed it. Was that was that Francois? Uh, yeah. Nicely done. I try to make it as sort of non-obtrusive, um, and it won't show it all the time. So like, if you've got a weapon that it's not applicable for, like a machine gun, then it just won't show it. Again. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I've got I've got the I'm using the healer right now with the. Um, triple shot, and uh, it's not there, but I was using the Paladin earlier, and it makes a huge difference. <clears throat> I am trying out the uh, dual stick helicopter, because I still haven't really uh, tried it to do the climb yet, you know? Nice. Hey, like yeah, l let me know how that goes. Um, I am also doing that. Is it, is it, is it the worst thing ever? So, so, um, so Zed has been testing um, a lot of this in, in, the, in his uh, on the side, and uh, he keeps finding all these awesome, awesome bugs and stuff that we sneak into the game. But you mean uh, um, Zed or Zem? Uh, Zed, was it Zed or Zem? Zem. 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 Yeah, it must be Zem. Zem. Sorry, too many Z's. <laughs> Zem. Credit Zed. where credit is due. That's Zed, uh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, one of the ones that he found was on um, the Paladin. Um, he's like, yeah, the armor on the Paladin goes up really, really weirdly. And I had um, misplaced like one variable so that every single time you leveled, it multiplied all your armor by 80%. 
So by the time you oh. got to level 20, your armor was like um, 0.8 to the 20th power as powerful as it should be, which is uh, pretty awesome. It was a very weird bug. I'm like, how is that even doing that? <laughs> Good catch, Sam. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, it was just a config change, but... Imagine if I could actually program how horrible this game would be. <laughs> oh man. So what everyone work on this week? Or since the last stream, I guess. Yeah. Do you want to start us out, Adam? I can start us out. So we've been making a lot of progress on new player uh, planes, um, which is part of the you know, ongoing um, visual hierarchy, visual design work uh, that we've been doing for quite a few weeks now. Um, and we have uh, we now have designs <coughs> on paper uh, for um, the medic, uh, old faithful assault, and uh, we're very close to one on the walker, and we have um, models for the Old Faithful and um, Assault. Uh, so we're kind of just pushing forward, and um, uh, probably by next time we stream, those things very well may be in the game, so we'll be showing off new player planes. Um, That's awesome. Oh, man. Awesome. Awesome. Adam, yeah. can you describe the, the sort of thumbnailing concept process? Because I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, absolutely. Good, thank you, Pat. That's a good <laughs> layup right there. Uh... No problem. It says in my notes I'm supposed to ask that. <laughs> it's like DVD commentary. Um, oh, who just died? Pat, you died. Uh, no. So, yeah, so, <clears throat> that was so in my our, script, too. Um, uh, the process we use, um, uh, at the very start, uh, me and um, uh, Allie and uh, Sarah B uh, all do thumbnail drawings, um, as many as we can for a given class. And um, what a thumbnail is, is uh, a real quick uh, drawing, usually, um, uh, well, when I teach this stuff, I say if you're spending more than like five or ten minutes, it's no longer a thumbnail. Um, and I crack the whip to make sure that they stay really around five minutes. So these are quick sketches. Um, but what you're doing um, when you when you draw those is you, you're trying to capture like form, um, like broad gesture, uh, and like um, you know a lot of the um, a lot of the medic, for instance, a lot of the medic designs were blimps, and so it was kind of like uh, trying to find different ways that we could like. Oh hey, here is like a very traditional one. Oh hey, here the balloon is underneath the um, the fuselage. Here, you know, blah blah blah. So it's like the broad gestures, um, and then we we look at those and we talk about them and we talk about what we like and what we don't like, and then we do uh, refined drawings, a smaller number of um, refined drawings where we mix and match uh, successful designs. Um, you know, double down on on you know ones that are just doing a lot of stuff right. Um, and then we show this to the larger group. The, the thumbnail process is really just the art team, um, but then um, the refined drawings we show to the larger group, we get everybody's feedback, and usually we take that um, and, and uh, you know, make some final changes and end up with our final, the final drawing that we, uh, um, that we then model. Nice. But enough about art. Never. Wait, didn't, what else um, was, what didn't, people doing? Aren't, aren't you an, an award-nominated uh, art director now? <laughs> Something like I, that? Like, I, I tell, a, tell, us, tell us a little <laughs> bit about that, Adam. Got a, I got a nod. That's a different game. I don't want to talk about that. You can talk about that. It's a good game. Uh, I Thank you. I uh, art directed uh, a strategy game, Tooth and Tail. Um, uh, this was uh, came out last fall. Uh, and we got a um, a handful of nods for the IGF, which is a sort of big indie games award ceremony. Um, and one of them was for visual arts, which I've um, the art in Tooth and Tail is um, I was very very responsible for. And it's, uh, something that I was that um, uh, 
you know that my hand was that present and has has garnered that kind of knowledge. So it's a little bit of a little bit of a personal. Mind. That's awesome. Congrats. That's, that's yeah, awesome. congrats. I mean, this is something we don't people don't talk about. Like, it's not about patting yourself on the back. It's like, it's like game development is insanely hard. Yeah. Like, and for the most part, nobody compliments anybody. I mean, <laughs> maybe when you go to GDC and you're like, oh, we go to GDC and we're like, we love your game and that. But the vast majority of game development is kind of like sitting there at your computer making stuff and failing a lot. <laughs> um, like, like when you were just describing the whole process of like making those thumbnails, it's like you're going to basically do a whole bunch of work and you just know it's going to be thrown away. Yeah. And that's just that's the process. You know, that's yeah. how it goes. Um, and so when something does succeed, I, I don't know, it's really nice to it's, to celebrate. I it's agree. Like, yeah, it's like, yay. Some of I, that I, horrible I, I, grinding in the in the in the trenches was worth it. Yes. <laughs> I, I agree for basically everybody else except me. It still feels <laughs> weird to like, you know, ever, ever, you know, acknowledge that something went okay. <laughs> Adam, you can't tell because this is a voice call, but I am giving you a nod right now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, cool. Um, there, were there were there new areas that were also being worked on, or is that that pretty much done at this point. I mean, have people... well, there's, I mean, air quotes done. You know, like there's still iteration to happen, but mm -hmm. um, the, we're at that like, you know, 60% level where it's like, okay, we can put a pin in it for right now, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and then and work on other stuff that's a little bit more critical. Has anyone seen um, the new art or no? <clears throat> I don't know. Well, no, we looked at that. I think we did that last. Oh no! Wait, that was on the call. That wasn't on the stream, was it? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. We just actually, uh, as a team. can I interrupt? Because I have uh, some units that I worked on that just randomly oh. popped up. Nice. So this is actually the zombie queen over here is uh, has been updated, and behaves a little bit differently than before. Oh, nice. What, what's new about the zombie queen? So the zombies, like, were previously kind of just, uh, you know, they would come at you and they'd shoot these little bullets and um, they were, and the zombie queen would just go in circles and it was very uninteresting. But now it actually, like, has more of this uh, proper method of, like, spawning, spawning zombies and using them as a shield and making it harder to get to. So I think somebody just killed it, but... Um, also, the zombies uh, leave a trail when they uh, go now. Oh my god, I almost died. Um, which makes it easier to tell what they're actually what what their role is in the battle. So, yeah. oh, nice, yeah. nice. So, a little little better signaling. Mm -hmm. um, they stay around longer as well, don't they? Yeah, like uh, yeah, the zombies don't self destruct anymore like they used to. It was kind of it just didn't. It was feels bad, man, because uh, you know you you yeah. you shoot it and they just randomly die. Mm -hmm. And um, it made more sense when they still had health bars, so you can sort of see their life ticking away. But uh, now that they don't do that, it doesn't make any. S it didn't really make any sense. So yeah. I just went ahead and got rid of that. Oh, here's another one. Oh man, we are in a danger zone. Oh, yeah, no. and then uh, over here we have the new ghost train, which has been redesigned to look cooler, and the movements change. It actually no longer follows you and is uh, a simple clone of one of the earlier enemies, and so it has its it has its own thing going on. Good for you, ghost train. <laughs> Good. Yeah, good, it's, good. it's almost a variation of the uh, what was it? It was up top that I forget what it was called. The hurt snake. It was yeah, sort of vaguely like the hurt snake, but not. It's. It, oh, I, I like uh, how clean the pattern is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's it's a. It's on the I, on okay. the uh, zombie queen too, Ray. I hadn't seen that yet, but it is. It's a lot better, and I I sort of like too that they leave trails because it uh, that plus the train makes it sort of like oh this is a it starts to almost feel like a theme right stuff leaves trails here right right <coughs> oh. i died but that was cool i started dying i started to teleport to someone and then i got hit and started dying and then teleported and finished dying on the other end oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, does anyone else want to talk about what they've worked on this week? They 
Take it away, Pat. <laughs> what? I said, take it away, Pat. Uh, I haven't worked on Steam Birds at all this week. <laughs> oh, that's right. Nicely oh, done. Were, oh, right, you were involved in conversations. That's why I sort of like... He was a wise advisor. That's what he was. Allie. Hey. Uh... I fixed things. I I can't remember that long ago, to be honest with you. I I I uh, I will sort of echo what Yang said earlier. Um, I have been giving you a bunch of tasks that are like the thankless work that needs to happen in games, and you have been doing a great job. Oh, I'm it's glad. A lot of like a lot of like polished stuff or fixing stuff or um, it's that. Yeah, like like one of the things that was that you you were working on was like something that you like you don't even think about, right? It's like um, when we were building these units, we sort of throw in temp art, um, and uh, we're like, well, it doesn't feel right, and so we have a variable which is like the size of the unit, and we kind of randomly set that, and it's like, oh, and this one's one, and this one's five, and this one's two point three or whatever it is. Um, and then when we get the actual art, it's everything scaled super weirdly. Because um, the art is not necessarily set up to deal with those numbers. And so then yeah. it's like, well, I have to go through, fix all that. Um, and it's just something that needs to be done because it makes the game so much more maintainable later on. Yep. Yeah. That but is that, a thing that I did. <laughs> <laughs> Let that no longer be thankless work. Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> oh. Uh, I feel so uh, appreciated. <laughs> that, that was an example of us being a literate company. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I just am, dying over and over. I am using the uh, highly controversial control scheme of controller mouse keyboard. <laughs> how's that? How's that doing for you? It's good. Uh, I'm using the, the left side of my controller to control my plane and do my secondary attacks. I'm using the mouse to aim and do the super speed, and I'm using the controller to dump the items that I don't need. How or the uh, the keyboard, rather. Yeah. The keyboard. The keyboard. One of those things like in your mouth that you're spiking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm curious. Is anyone using full-on controller for stuff or? I I, w I was using it. It was just that like it's still doing that little sticky thing with the laser, or with the aiming. Oh okay. Yeah. All right. It's the only reason I switched to the mouse. But I mean, I'm just I'm just it's it's amazing that I have the option to play like this. <laughs> 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 it's so cool. It is funny about the dumping using the keyboard because I've always used the controller, but I still always like switch to the keyboard to control my inventory. Yeah. Why is that? Um, it's faster. Oh, to dump it, it's, it's probably faster. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it's like hard to remember which one I rebound it to, right? Yeah. Um, is uh, is Sebi on this call? Because he's been doing a lot of work in that area. I, I don't think he's on the call. All right. Um, so he's been doing a bunch of work on um, uh, just making sure the controls are, are working and, and interesting. Um, so like we, we at this point with uh, dual stick plus the standard planes plus variations of plane classes, there's a lot of control options. Um, and so like I know like right now he just added in so on a per on a per class level, there's a new menu that lets you set how you want to set your control options. Um, so you can get, I mean, again, this goes back to like, how do we make this so that um, people can play how they want to play? Um, and so, like, we, we have a lot of control options. The default should be fine for most people, but if you really want to get in there and tweak and adjust things, you can. Um, for example, I actually like playing using the gamepad um, with a standard plane, which is not something we thought would actually work out, but I kind of enjoy it. Man, people work fast. I just found a boss, and it's already it's already dead. Well, well I think Zem's yeah. around. Zem's Zem's here. Zem's been doing uh, solo exercises. He's been soloing the hardest bosses possible. Yeah. 
I think it takes him like 15 minutes to solo or, or like a Raijin or something. Oh, really? Yeah. What I like about Zem is that he doesn't expect the solo experience to be like um, like a regular boss fight. He, he knows that it's like kind of an odd experience where mm -hmm. like, you know, it takes a lot longer and you have to go through the cycles like more times. Because like, you mm -hmm. know, the bosses are tuned to be sort of um, like nicely digestible for a group of like a few players at a time. So like, so his, his feedback is super nice and helpful. Mm -hmm. We love yeah, you, is Zem. Is he, is he a <laughs> realm guy? Is that? I think I think at some point he was. Um, yeah, he's put a ton of time into testing uh, Steambirds, though. It's super awesome. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah. We need to get yep. some uh, custom honorary dev uh, merch. If and, he's and hand it out. <laughs> if he's on, there is there is a laser. Named after Zem, I think, isn't it? Isn't it the Zemian laser? Yep. Oh, it's a wasp, sweet. isn't it? Oh, is it a wasp? The Zemian. I think. Uh, I yeah. Zem just said it in uh, Steambird's chat realm since February 2012. Nice. Wow. Nice. Man, I don't know where everybody went. Oh yeah, I've been. I see the cute German houses, which means that uh, I'm uh -oh. in the wrong area. For yeah, that. I know. I was just <laughs> I was just flying to you, Ali, and thinking like, oh, this is. I see a lot of skulls here. I shouldn't be here. No, this is a bad, <laughs> I'm this level is a bad eight. Place. This is a bad idea. <laughs> but it's so pretty. I need to change my controls. Um, I need to find Ray so I can hang out. Oh, with the stream. I'm I'm in the uh, I'm in the Rebel City for a moment. I found uh, him in the Rebel City. <laughs> oh man, so Rebel City and Rebel City. We never came up with an idea for the the beach. We just call it Rebel City. Rebel City. <laughs> yeah, Rebel City. That's not gonna that's not gonna get confusing at all. <laughs> you say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> oh god. Oh no Did someone just die? Oh I did, I did. In mysterious totally circumstances is what it said. That's not accurate. It was, it was very clear what happened. <laughs> I teleported to you, and then I shot immediately after I came out of teleport, which is a bad idea, because I was surrounded by enemies, and I had no uh, shield left. Oh, I do that so often. Yeah. All right. Well, um, do any of you guys have any extra equip uh, to help me help me level back up? I have, I've got some. You got some stuff? Okay, I'm coming to Jump you. Jump to Pat and I. I'll dump some. I don't know if that's useful. Ooh, a laser playground. Oh, I can use one of those things. Ooh. Hooray. Ladies, ah. I love I love the timer on the laser play, playground. Like it tells you exactly how long it's it's going to have be left. All right, I'm joining you guys. Um, <clears throat> but yes, I'm still level one, so I could use a few things if you if you all have some stuff. If anyone wants to dump some stuff, I actually could not use the like things that. that you dumped. That's that's super helpful. Oh oh, there we go. That's that's what I'm talking about. Wait. That's the mad loot. <laughs> I told I, I took them right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I'm also I'm only level three. <laughs> <laughs> you want to split them up a little? I'll give you some of them. It's okay. I'll uh, I'll just the next um, the next weapon I could my class can use. I would I would love would love to have it. My shield is okay <laughs> though because I have a shield two uh, level two shield now. There's something for somebody. I don't know if anyone can use that. What's your engine, Ray? Uh, zero. Oh wait, no, it's uh, three actually. So it's not too bad. You see, I think I just got a four. Send me a laser. So, uh, I'm using a machine gun now, and the reload uh, UI little widget is awesome. Right. I love it. It's so good. Yeah, snuck snuck that in quickly before the bolt. Yeah, yeah, it's you. You did an awesome job. It's like, because I, I remember the experiments that we were doing before, but I don't. We never had something quite like this, right? Uh, we did, um, but it was on. It was in a different location. <clears throat> um, uh, I think it. I think it's nice where it's at. Yeah, me too. I I, 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 like I really like this. It's cool. 
Whoa. Um, whoa, whoa, wow. Sp speaking of like polish tasks that are somewhat thankless, maybe, I don't know. This one's, uh, the, the original idea was that all of these turrets that are in this dungeon were going to be sitting on stands, sort of like we did with the escort dungeon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if that's something we still want to do. Um, but be cool. that would be that would be nice. Oh, I just got a gun upgrade. I now have a wasp. I'm happy. Wasps are the best. If you're a healer, wasps are like wonderful cuz like the, the healer's problem is just trying to get their damage uh, uh, input on uh, on some of these enemies. And like with a wasp, you're you're pretty much guaranteed to hit something. You may not kill it, but uh, you're guaranteed to hit it and get get your health pickups and stuff. Yeah, I like that I can be shooting enemies while simultaneously chase people who are really stubborn and apparently don't want to be healed. <laughs> <laughs> we all know who you're talking about, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> but Dave's not even here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody actually, as oh far god. as I can tell. Oh god! Like Ray. I'm fine. I'm doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I worry about Pat. Pat, you've died a bunch here. How's the, how are the controls working out? I die constantly. The controls are great. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> never I'm a reckless. Sense. I'm a reckless player. Although this, it, I like how the the walker lets me kind of hang back on this in this level. Yeah, the locker is very much a tricky class. Tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky to walk the walker. The walk of the walker. The talk you can talk the talker, but can you walk the walker? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Good stream. See you later. Yeah. I was thinking that uh, we really need a pat on the stream more often. <laughs> All the good vibes. Oh, man. The mincer. We need the mincer. You get minced? I did get minced a little bit. But, you know, I try to save up my my heals so I can heal myself and somebody oh, else. Like I feel, I feel a little guilty every time I just heal myself. Yeah. It's funny when I dive bomb for steam so I can heal somebody else and then I take so much damage I have to heal myself immediately and still can't heal anyone. I got you, Ray. Thanks, buddy. You got one on your tail. <laughs> I can't shake him. <laughs> Be a wingman any day. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it starts to spin. Oh, this guy doesn't have effects. Effects? I does he have smoke? Yeah, I thought we put particles on him. I oh, we do too. that is weird. Yeah, well, like smoke effects. Yeah, I mean he's got like those giant smoke stacks. He deserves. And he needs lots some. Of smoke. Those like lights oh, okay. around his outer perimeter need some flashes. Hey. I'll do it. I, I timed out. Dang it. You timed out? Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. it's got little. It sent me back to Nexus. Yeah, it was a timed out. Oh, yeah, I've got, nice. I've got a ping of uh, 500 milliseconds. <laughs> it's right. totally playable, but somehow I have a ping of 500 milliseconds. I mean, up to about five your your bullets appear to be like shooting from behind you as yeah. their source. Ha! Huh. Some major le network lag on yeah. my end. I uh, yeah, it was my first dungeon as the, the dual stick walker. It felt good. So there's some concern about like um, enemies with like where they're easier to kill with one class and, and harder to kill with another class. And I don't mind that so much. I think that's good to have some variation. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I want to make sure that we we patch some holes in like things that are super easy to kill with a walker. Um, 
So it's it, we don't want it to become trivial. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's tr trivial so far, but. Um, yeah, like see. maybe some classes just should be like twice as easy to kill something, but not like ten times. Right. Exactly. I mean, we don't we kind of the goal is to make it so that you don't want people to be bored playing the game, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's that's a that's an obvious, clear failure state. Um, they should be enjoying it. They should feel like they're actually having a good time. Um, even if, even as an expert player, like I put, I put, so I don't know, hundreds of hours into this, and I don't, I don't feel like, oh, like, it's easy. I can still die. Yeah. Uh, not that I'm a great player by any means. We're also confident in our gaming skills. All of us are like, yeah, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I, I think the key here is we know what leaderboards are like in these games, and we're like, oh yeah, wow, there are some superhuman people out there. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Like them. Yeah. Hmm, bomb factory? It's probably too low for us. Yeah, we're we're a little. We're a little high at the moment. What level is the escort dungeon? Ten. Uh, or T ten. That's my favorite. T ten. It's yeah. a T ten. I think uh, the next dungeon on the climb is actually the arena. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. And you've been okay. Never mind. You're not working on that. You're not probably showing that one yet. No, there's yeah, there's other other stuff in the works, you know. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> so fun to play with a bunch of us. Mhm. Mm it is. Oh, I see the little new puffer fish too. Oh, yeah. love this. <laughs> That's so cool when they puff up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh. it feels a lot better now. <laughs> They definitely die pretty quickly. Yeah, I give them a little bit more strength. Um, when they're on their own, they're just sort of, uh, once they puff and do their thing, it's pretty easy to take them out. But that's sort of by design, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, a regular puffer fish wouldn't do very good against them, but something that had projectiles. <laughs> I don't know, man. Those things are like all bone. Have you ever seen a puffer fish skeleton? I oh, they're crazy. Oh. They're they're wild. It's like their their entire body is this interlocking web of bone. And yeah, they look uh -huh. like puzzles. Yeah, yeah, Little it's super puzzle fish. It's super cool. That is cool. Um, in Twitch chat, Neviglink asks if there will be flying dinosaurs because of science. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> uh, Gertie, you heard uh, it here first. They would the have to be the original concept for the doomsday mechanism was a dinosaur. Oh, that's oh, yeah, that's true. The current Rep uh, Rebel City also has the pterodactyl statues. I don't that's know if those are going to stick around, but... They also they, are they technically might, flying. Not the whole island is uh, flying, so... Aren't we anyway playing, playing dinosaurs, right? I mean, Just birds like, are, the birds are the birds descendants. Are dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, Lore-wise, the actual dinosaurs have, have died out a long time ago. Along with those pesky humans. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of like the birds are into the Egyptian Egyptian uh, mythology, and the birds worship something much old, much more ancient. Are they pagans? Are they pagan birds? <laughs> Maybe the dinosaurs could be pagans. In a world of talking animals. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I could still You're use not a. Get away from me, Terrier Cur. Bam! <laughs> it's an inferior I... Terrier Cur. <laughs> I'm still scared of uh, whatever the the oh, the thing that uh, the ghost one that, that's uh, up in the, the graveyard that shoots the ice 
bullets? Is it the... What is that one called? Uh, I don't know, but I'm afraid of anything that shoots ice bullets. Not the zombies. <laughs> no, the, the... Is it the Wraith? Um, oh, yeah, the Wraith. Yeah. Because it's so, followed by those, like... The crazy. skulls. Yeah, the skulls. The cat skulls. Yeah, the things are uh, possibly OP. I don't know. I, I've, I've died by, by their hands a lot. By their skulls. Having memories of the old Tower of Ra, like, I'm always surprised how quickly this one dies. Oh god, oh god. Oh man, that was so close. <laughs> I'm like perished. planking away at, at the sniper and uh, then uh, Zoo Patrol comes by with like a buffed up what was that? Was that a machine gun? What yeah, was that? It's you were it's a machine gun. And it's just like. I know. I love the. I love the machine gun for moments like that because it feels like you're just. It feels like old like strafing footage or something from yeah. World War II. Just oh, the God. fly past, guns blazing. You had, you had a power up as well, didn't you? Um, <clears throat> it looked uh, like it was a quad shot or something you had going on there. Oh, I don't think so. Maybe? No? I don't know. Yeah, I love the combo of the, uh, the walker controls and the machine gun. You get the, like, you, sh you move in, you shoot your ammo, and then you, like, fall back and dodge, and then, while well, you reload. It's like this little, these little micro skirmishes. Yeah. Sounds really cool. I think, I think, um, uh, the... Paladin has that as well, but I don't know if the timing's quite right. The, the the reload time feels a little long, maybe, on that one. Has anyone played the Paladin? There's Not for a duration. No. Yeah. Paladin should be more playable. I'm, I'm curious if anyone wants to try that one out. I had a look at it when I was testing. It seemed like quite a long cooldown. Yeah. It's like yeah, three that's... seconds or something? Yeah, it's three seconds. Yeah, so that should probably be short. Oh no, 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 no. Oh god. Frozen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where are you? Where are you? Made it out alive. Oh god. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god. I cannot believe I made it out there. I'm, I'm trying to heal people, but I have no energy. I'm low in it. I'm a low energy person right now. <laughs> Cover you, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I like that. Our like tough guy voice is specifically like 1980s tough guy voice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think let's all play volleyball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the toughest sport there is. It is. Oh, see, I almost healed Zoo Patrol, but then he ran away. I know. Oh, yeah, thank you. Someone got me. <laughs> yeah, man, those uh, those scorpions almost got me a second ago. I like the scorpions. The scorpions are definitely, they were always intended to be one of those, like, screw you classes. Mm -hmm. um, where, you, like, I, 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 it's nice to have some enemies that you're a little wary of. Yeah. Uh, um, though it's interesting how, like, uh, the ones that I'm wary of are the ones that remove control versus yeah. the ones that do damage. Right. Because, like, like the when freeze you, bullets? Yeah, the freeze bullets are definitely, like... Does anybody have a non-zero machine gun? <laughs> a non-zero? No, I gave up all mine. Um, what do you? What would you guys think of a of a of an effect that uh, screws with your turning radius? Would that be too mean? That sounds super. No, I think. I mean, I think that's mean, but I also think that's a really fertile place to, you know, plant Could, plant a design. Because I mean, I've noticed. Oh, Do we have a perfect. drunk, drunk effect that's like opposite of your actions? <laughs> that bug with a walker movement the other day was kind of... <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, who, whoever's playing the walker, has anyone tried the secondary effect on the walker? Secondary the, effect? The reverse. The reverse maneuver. I it's have, a reverse maneuver on, on have, the walker. I have not what been using it. What is the key it? for that? Uh, it's, um, it's, I the don't maneuver. it's the maneuver key. Yeah, what is that with mouse and keyboard? Uh, like sp spammy buttons and nothing. I think happening. it's usually S, but mine actually isn't mapped to that right Q now. Q or space or, or E maybe? R or e. E. <laughs> e. 
I love it's the great when a collection of developers can't remember the controls <laughs> to their own game. Well, oh. Everyone's got their favorite controls. Oh, it's super weird. I found it. Okay, it's Q. It's weird though, because it you have to be pressing a movement key for it to work. Mm hmm. Whereas, yeah. like, I, I would expect to go in reverse, I would stop pressing forward and then hit just reverse, but that doesn't do anything. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, w w uh, we were talking last night about maybe making it into a, like a reverse dash. So you could just press the button and you automatically dash in reverse. Yeah. And that might be better. We can do a forward dash really cheaply right now. You saying something, Nally? Oh yeah, it looks like the Tetra uh, doesn't show as shielded uh, effect. Oh really? Mm -hmm. oh. Yep. That's weird. Maybe he has the wrong material. Oh, Ooh, is this a T5 boss armor. Up here? What's this? This is scary. I'd be surprised if Zem hadn't killed it yet. Oh shit! There's a guard line on my six. Ah. <laughs> yeah, this is... I think I may have pulled that one or kited it over here. Sorry. Oh man. <coughs> I didn't mean so to. <laughs> I think I think we need to find. Um, uh, we we need like you know, Zem killed. We need a graveyard whenever someone kills a boss. It's like Zem mm. killed the boss here. Yeah. So we know who to blame. Yeah, and we know who to blame. Yeah. Oh, Francois. It's very close. I'd still love to do the thing where when we kill a boss, it like turns into like a, a smoking heap of the boss and falls yeah. down. And... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we can plant a flag on it. Yeah. Be jerks. Oh, thank you. You can hit a button and it drops bird poop from our planes on it. <laughs> just, just like so many desecration options. <laughs> I, I mean, it's kind of just like it, you have to do it to fit the lore, like you know, birds pooping on things. Yeah, that's just, true. We gotta and, do and it. And we can have this special shader where there's statues, and like as you poop on them, they become more poop covered. Yeah. Oh my god. Think of how wonderful that would be. Just, just imagine it. Picture that. Hold that <laughs> image in your head, and it's just like, doesn't it just fill your heart with joy? <laughs> I feel like we're learning something about Dank right now. Oh. This is not new information for me, at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dang. maybe the stream is, then. I died again. No. I know. Fuck, it's hard. Ooh, I gotta... Ray, you're the person who's not supposed to die. I know. I'm gonna stop and apply this. Alright. Uh, I'm bad. <laughs> Oh no, my, my cow loop! Oh. oh my god, I'm gonna die! I'm trying so no. hard to catch up with oh you, Pat, man, but I can't. This is like super fast. <laughs> I got I got hit with a bullet right as my teleport home finished, but I still died. That was vicious. I don't know what happened there, but that was a kill zone. Like both yeah. Pat and I almost died, then three other people died immediately. Four other people? No, I don't know. It was it was. I I came back and then I died immediately because uh, you guys are. Not in a friendly like, zone. I'm gonna use this upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> and then like 20 enemies appear. We forgot They're... the number one rule. Don't hang out with cute houses. Yeah, that's true. Well, I just they got suck a you in with their Bavarian charm. <laughs> Alright, I'm starting back over at the uh, lower <laughs> elevations because I uh, keep dying. I love how at the least, game uh... keeps giving me the uh, enemies with the skull are deadly at your level. Be careful. It feels kind of passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> like I know. I'm gonna run away from all this and help out Ray. Yeah. This, is, this is vicious, and I keep dying. Oh wait, I teleported to Pat. That's not who I wanted to teleport to. So, um, Ray, do you know that there's a a cheat Sibby put in this week for for streamers? Uh, yeah. Um, the epic cheat, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering uh, about using that because uh, I was mostly going to use it in dungeons um, where we can't re-enter it, right? Uh, I wasn't going to really like use it for all cases. I think it's important to show that I can I can die if I make bad decisions. 
But yes, no, I'm so super excited about it. It's this cheat that I've wanted for years. I mean, mostly for testing purposes. Um, and uh, yeah, basically you take damage, but you don't die. Um, you just stop at uh, one health. Nice. We got some uh, chat in Twitch chat we should catch up on. Oh yeah, yeah. What are, what, what are folks saying? Wow, well, I just can't remember. Oh, no. um, where do we leave off? Uh, so this must be going back a while. Uh, Goose says a blimp would be a cool thing. Maybe a tanky class. We're actually thinking of the the medic as the blimp. Um, Nevaklink's asking about cute houses. We're talking about the houses in the what territory is it? High That's, mountains. Uh, the, high high uh, mountains. mountains. Just yeah. mountains. Just that mountains. Yeah, just the mountains. <laughs> yeah, there's these cute. I want to say Bavarian style little German town kind of thing um, with cute houses and roundabouts and stuff. It looks very pastoral, except the enemies there just kill you like terrible. It's like uh, evil Leavenworth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Leavenworth. So there, there's, a, uh, there's a random town in the mountains of, of the state of Washington um, where it's totally a typical Americana town, but like all the jobs were leaving. And uh, they said, what can we do? And so back in, was it the 70s or so? They said, we're going to turn ourselves into a barbarian replica town. And, like, all the buildings are going to look like they're from Bavaria. And we're going to sell beer and we're going to have Oktoberfests. And, yeah. So you go up in the middle of the mountains um, and there's this little German town out of nowhere. It's very strange. It's kind of surreal, as a matter of fact. It is. And so, cool. so, so we have the evil bar. We have the evil Leavenworth right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that town, except with guns. <laughs> uh, the streamer cheats are uh, specifically cheats that we made for when we are streaming. They're not other people's cheats. Clarify that for the chat. <laughs> Because we like to die a lot, and then the stream gets to watch us revive and try to catch back up to where we were. We'd prefer if you didn't have to do that. Any other questions on the uh, chat? I was just excited to tell the Leavenworth story. <coughs> I think that's all. I think we're caught up. Has anyone made it up to the high mountains where Zem's at? Who is destroying something horrible? Today? No. Um, there's all this cool th tech up here. I'm in the safe location if anyone wants to join me. Okay, I'm teleporting. Okay, See? it's safe. To to totally safe. Which Oh, well, except for that giant boss. But just ignore the giant boss. Don't go close to the giant boss and you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. um, Gosh, this area looks so cool. But notice notice the cool cranes. Mm -hmm. And then this 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 awesome I don't know what this is, this gooey gooey liquid thing with pipes coming out of it. Oh, oh I love the one with I don't the think uh... I've ever seen those pieces. Yeah, this is the, the Notre set, isn't it? I the one good. with the dome over it. The dome? Yeah, it's oh, got yeah. a little like oh, cage, yeah. cage dome over it. Yeah. Oh, that's super that's cool. cool. It's the goo dome. I got one <laughs> shot by an Ultra this, Minion. This chimney's, this chimney's coming out of the goo. <laughs> I know. I thought that was part of the model originally. And I'm like, oh wait, it's a mix. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it got. Uh, re it's a mashup, and, oh. and I've, I, I actually have like text throwing shadows onto that right which is super cool Do those minions just self-destruct i just i just wanted to show you but now here's the question how do we get out of here we're gonna have to fight our <laughs> fight our we're way out here oh i got a berserker on my radar like way 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 out there i'm gonna try to get to it I, i'm gonna teleport home I'm going after a slave driver oh look at the scary the oh. scary red area is really scary <clears throat> I'm not. This is scary. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No, Allie. 
It's a bad, cruel world. I tried to heal you, but I just gave you a damage boost instead. <laughs> <laughs> I really shouldn't have been there at all. Does anybody want to join me in this berserker fight I'm about to do? Yeah, I'll do that. <clears throat> I mean, I'm level 2, but... Yeah, I'll just... give you my Valiant level 1 heals. Sometimes I feel like Shaggy and Scooby and Scooby-Doo when they see the ghost. Go, 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 go! Yeah. Oh, man, that thing hits hard when you are level 2. It's like, we shouldn't be here! That's... I, I can't do a Shaggy impression, I'm sure uh, there are do Shaggy impressions. Ouch. Was that their job? Zoinks! What? Like, out driving around in a van, I guess. Yeah, how I, make, I, how I they think... How gas money? No, I think those those were all, like, uh, rich kids. Those were all, like... Oh, yeah, okay. Like hipsters. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they're they were bounty hipsters. hunters. They turned in those criminals. For... <laughs> they were bounty hunters. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can you imagine one of those like reality television show yeah, bounty hunter shows? <laughs> like Scooby Doo. <laughs> they strap on Kevlar and they go unmask the ghost. <laughs> yeah. And, and then they're like talking about their their tattoos and what they mean to them. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a, was that a dog the bounty hunter reference? <laughs> That'd be amazing. I would love if somebody did like a Ghost Hunters show where they just all were in like Scooby Doo costumes the whole time. <laughs> so cool. Whenever they saw something that might be a ghost, they just like run over a looping background frame. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, that would be better than current ghost shows with their like profound lack of lights and just staring in directions in the dark. Yeah. I think I heard something. Stairs. Over analyzing static. Yeah. <laughs> actually it would be cool if like the there actually was haunted activity that was being perpetrated by someone else, like as a trick. Because you know that was always the conceit of Scooby Doo. Yeah. They're trying to scare people off the trail and then the ghost testers hunters on the show had to like figure out the trick and catch the person who is trying to scare them. But wait, so I'm sort of confused because at some point with Scooby-Doo it just became about real ghosts, right? I think so. In some cases, yeah. I thought that was just like so weird. It like defeated the purpose of the show, I th you know? Yeah, but like 90% of the time it was like old man Mr. Blankety Blank who has had a mask on trying to scare people off the Kate, you know? I know, but like, activity. I mean, but paranormal activity isn't exactly a mystery, right? It's just like, oh, look, we've discovered, made a di like a a discovery about the supernatural, and like, and that's it. That's not that's not a mystery, though. Yeah. <gasps> what if shield. the what if the mystery machine is the thing that was generating the mysteries the whole oh time? Oh my god, that's that, okay. That's that's a mystery. That's a mystery. It. So they go around haunting everything by their presence. Ah, uh, it was like cursing all those old men. The old men were innocent, but then yeah. it's the sort meddling of like kids. <laughs> it's like yeah. those. It's like those old detective novels where, like, wherever the detective goes, somebody dies in this like very elaborate plot. Yeah, yeah. That murder she wrote, woman. She was dangerous. She couldn't yep. get away from murder. <laughs> Do we sound like we're all stoned right now? Like <laughs> terrorizing Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> The steamer stream devolves into Scooby-Doo theories. Uh, speaking of which, Nevik Link says, I like the fan theory that Scooby-Doo takes place in a post-economic depression world, which is why all these normally smart people with jobs as scientists have turned to crime. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's deep. That's a really good point. Alright, so it's 2019. What if they... <laughs> <laughs> a chilling glimpse of things to come. What if the scientists were like committing crimes to earn money to like fund like actually really good research or something because they couldn't get government funding yep. it's like I, I i'm working i need this money so i can build a new water filter <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> we want to eradicate malaria yeah. but all the funding has dried up because people don't believe in science anymore 
<laughs> it's super depressing every every ending. <laughs> Keep putting away all these really great people. <laughs> What happened to you? You won a Nobel Prize in biology. <laughs> there was a Nobel Prize and in I biology. would have gotten away for it with it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I think the walker might need a slight health buff. Oh yeah? I've just been near dead like almost like the entire time. What what level are you? You're level 8. Okay. Uh, level eight. I got. Well, I only have a tier two shield, so I guess it's. Ah, uh, that's probably. I guess I'm a little. But even Here, when I had like a good shield. I can shield. drop some stuff. Here, let me drop some stuff. Sweet. Any, anything oh, sweet. there that's sweet. yummy? Oh yeah. There's uh, this. There's, there's definitely some yummy stuff. For what it's worth, I don't feel particularly fragile in the walker. I keep seeing people drop a, a medicule and then pick it up, and I'm like, uh, if it's not dank, give it to me. <laughs> I need my heels. We need your heels too, Allie. <laughs> well. All right, we're get we're coming up on the hour. Is there any last uh, questions or things that we haven't talked about yet? You trying to end on a cliffhanger? <laughs> <laughs> Goose asks, "What about a class that rams things? The front of it would just be a battering ram." Oh boy, Goose! Oh, we should we definitely have a make surprise one of those. for you. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's a good idea. <laughs> we'll call it the Goose Salt. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Um, one of the concepts that Adam's working on may be awesome and look vaguely like that. <laughs> One of the things we we're trying to do is a lot of our planes we realized were looking kind of like uh, I don't know if generic is the right word. They're no, definitely not generic, but they're they're more like oh this is a this is a this is an airplane and we, we're like can we give it more personality, more character? So things like that where it's like yeah this is a thing that rams stuff and you can tell just by looking at it is part of part of Adam's redesign. Yeah, I see a lot it, of uh, cat skulls here. It's uh, it's not even necessarily an issue of um, character. It's uh, um, just one of you know signaling, right? That uh, you know so much. I think uh, you know what we do in this game and um, across all disciplines is all is about like signaling something, right? And um, one of my big goals in the plane plane redesign was. Oh, if you look at a screenshot, you should be able to tell what a plane does. You know, so. Yeah. That sounds excellent. Cool. Any other questions? Sounds like some people in chat are not a big fan of the red aiming line. Okay. What do they want instead? What do you want instead, chat? Pink, magenta, <laughs> green. Make them all individual designable. I think they're talking <laughs> about the ships. Oh, are they? The oh, yeah, you're that. right. You might be right. <laughs> oh my goodness, I haven't shot any fireworks yet. Oh my goodness. This will goodness. be remedied. This is a huge oversight. <laughs> yeah, Ray, where are you? We gotta get some streamy, streamy works. Streamy fireworks? There we go. On, let's do this. Yeah! <laughs> Oh and then they all died. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's nice to do fireworks, but not in the combat zone. It kind of makes it more exciting. It is more exciting, but in a scary way. Well, it's we're like drawing we're... a lot of aggro right now. They're like, we don't like fireworks. Maybe they just want to help. That's why they're shooting all those fireworks. Yeah, yeah all those bombs. <laughs> it's a group just, celebration. Uh, enemy fireworks. We want to be on stream too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Nice. All right. All right. Good skies, everyone. And we'll right. see you next week. Yeah. See you later. Take care, everyone. We'll see you next week, same time. Goodbye. Thanks, guys. <laughs>